Franklin's Luke Guth and Easton Fulmer following their semifinal victory over Greenville. Guys, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you guys came out strong. How key was it to come out strong in both halves, both the first half and the second half? You guys came out really strong. Well, we knew if we came out strong, we didn't think they had, they had the offensive firepower like we do to bring it back. So we knew if we came out strong, we got the lead, we could handle it from there. It was a big part of our energy. That's what we've been focusing on in practice, just being up and loud and playing all four quarters. Mm -hmm. Is it... Is it tougher or easier preparing for a team for the third time, a team you're very familiar with? I think a little easier. Mm -hmm. It's definitely easier. I mean, we know what we're coming in with. Cano's going to try to do his thing. 15's going to play defense. We know we, we stop Cano, we win. Mm -hmm. And you guys came out in the third quarter. You're up 11. You run about a minute and a half off the clock. Then Zach hits a big three. How, uh, how big is that for you guys? How demoralizing did you think that was for them? Well, they, we run a lot of we run a lot of offense off the clock. Smith comes down; it's a big three. He's been stepping up in the playoffs. That's when we need him. Been doing well. It's a huge three. Yeah, it was a big shot on his part. Really helped us out, get us going in that second half. And uh, now you guys are going to play for a District Ten championship. Tell me, uh, what, what does that mean to you guys? Oh, it's a big part in the Franklin like history. It's been what eleven years. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. Hopefully, we can go do it. Yep, we just got to go win one get it under our belts. Maybe we can come back next year go get another one. Yes, sir. All right, Franklin's Luke Guth and Easton Fulmer. Congratulations, guys. Thank you.